So it's extremely, extremely annoying. There is a way to get this just by jumping. Um, you can get it pretty fast just by jumping, but I don't. Just no, no. Just, just no. Do it the intended way. I'm not speedrunning. Why would I do speedrunning tactics? Even though I totally used speedrunning tactics already in this game. Next! What do I want to do next? Um, teleport to the world entry and exit, I think. Time to fly. Where's the thingy? There's the thingy. The thingy! Let me fly. Right, so this move is amazing in this game because you can actually aim. Oh look, it's the other yellow! Another yellow, I should say. Wish it was orange, because there's only two of those. How unfortunate. That's basically all you need the flight for, is to get that one Jinjo, but uh... I mean, I guess it comes in handy for getting other things. Oh yeah, and if you hold the button, you'll just continuously use that move. It just won't end. Oh yeah, that was awesome. Guess I'll do this now. Because I can. Really? In the mouth. Feed the snakes. Oh, and remember what I said about the whole sneaking thing? Yeah, we get to do that again. <laughs> that priceless relic thingy has been stolen. No oh, nose. <laughs> He'll open the door to get the thing that we already got because we can fly. Because we can fly! Really? Really? Watch out for enemies! Bang! Jock spring jump! Huzzah! So, there's the special skill stop honeycombs in this game, but there's also this other one called, uh, I think it's called the random stop honeycomb that'll have a question mark on it. Yeah, it's completely random where the thing will show up. So, for the skill stop, you've got a single honeycomb that'll just go linearly across your entire honeycomb bar, and then you just push the button to stop it when it's at full, for instance. It's not so bad. Random stop makes it appear randomly across your bar, which is freaking horrifying, because you can easily end up with, like, one health. Yeah, I was just thinking, can't I just hold, like, R1 to have the, to have the camera just perpetually behind my back? But that seems to be... A slight problem in and of itself. Alright, so let's walk. Come on, finger, you need to be you need to hold steady. No going forward, no going back. Just stay right where you are. Let's get this in one try, shall we? I absolutely hate the sneaking things like this. Um But that's only because of the controller that I'm using. It's fine with like the uh, the N64 controller because at least that stick has a far larger range of motion on it so it's okay 
when you're on the N64. I can't really say with certainty about the Xbox 360 controller because I don't have a 360. I haven't played this on 360. Um, I have a 360 controller, but I'm not going to use it on my Xbox One. Why would I, why would I do that? I have it for... Uh, I had it for use on my PC, but now I'm just using the Xbox One controller on my PC as well, and I've even, like, ordered the, uh, Elite Xbox One controller as well, so that'll be a thing. That'll be my dedicated PC controller, I think. Yeah, we found the Prices Relic thingy. This is supposed to be a family game, but when I'm around, oh, hell no. Yeah, you, you ran away, please. So that was our preview into the world of Pterodactyland. You'll find that a lot of the worlds in this game are interactive, like... Blah. They interact with each other in relatively interesting ways, so you'll be able to, like, go to certain places uh, a little early, but other areas in that world will be blocked off, and you'll also use certain exits between worlds as shortcuts, and, uh, yeah, it, it, it's just interesting, the interactions that uh, exist in this game between each of the worlds. They are pretty well thought out. My only problem is I despise backtracking. Um, I, des I despise it. I just want to finish a thing and be done with it and never have to go back to it again. Yeah, collect the statues, get your prize, click more statues, fight a boss, collect your prize. It's fairly simple. So, I have to say, the, uh, the first person mode in this game is... It's okay in this version, um, because you have twin sticks. Twin sticks definitely, definitely help. Alright, I don't know why I want to be here. I want to be over there. Yeah, in the line of fire, but whatever. Because on the N64... On the N64, you only had the one stick, and then you had the C buttons for strafing. And, uh... Yeah, yeah, that was a that was a really fun time, uh, and then you had to like fire with Z. I think Z was fire, but then you had to do things like push A and or B. You had to push B for um for a move later on in the game. So it's like uh huh. It's like huh. Uh, where's where's the thingy? There's the thingy. Hello. Unfortunately, it's red. I have apparently disconnected from Xbox Live. I don't know how, why, or bleh. What's going on? I, I don't know. Did they like take it down for some reason while I'm recording this? Don't know. Don't really care. Uh, I need like 50. So, before we go do that, I need to find some Moa. Moa! Oh, I need 20, okay. Where are the others? I know there's more. There's one. Where's the uh, dark area? There's a dark area like that. That exists. I think it's over... This way, maybe? Yeah, up there, but I want to go this way. Because this is a thing. Ah! 
So, rapid fire. Yeah, rapid, rapid fire. It exists. It's a thing. Just hold down the button. Da na 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 na. Once you collect the twentieth one, all the extras disappear, which I find to be relatively interesting. There are more than twenty in that exist in this zone. Just so we're clear on that, there are more than twenty that exist. Uh, we need to go this away. Because in here we get a free jiggy in the slightly sacred chamber. Grab the thing. And off we go. And if we go in here, it's time for our boss. Hello. Mr. Despotic Dizzy Totem God Thingy. Oh, I'm forgetting this is, uh... Inverted on Y. Kill the dudes! <sighs> Kill the dudes! Don't forget I have homing. Come on. There you go. Hey. Hey! Mortar Forker! Mortar Forker! Last time. Come on, kill kill the thing. Where's the dude? Oh, there you are. All right. Self-destruct time. Hide. And Jiggy. Now to remember. Ooh, I have the perfect number of, uh, of eggs. Forty-two. Very insightful number. Could you just die? Thank you. I need to remember how to get out of this place. Open. Go up and then through here. This is the way we came in. Open, yeah. There we go. I tend to get lost easily in this in these places because there's no freaking mini map. That's one thing they better have in ukulele is a freaking mini map. 
I will be deeply disappointed in ukulele if they don't have a minimap of some sort. This day and age, you need maps. Ha, you saw that egg fail. Curve and fail. Did you? Yeah, there you go. Amazing, I can hardly believe it. Jiggy time! Getting jiggy with it. Get jiggy with it! Let me up. Let me up. Let me up. I could just get this by flying, but I give no shits. Ah, uh, let me think, let me think, let me think, let me think, let me think. What else exists? What else exists as a thing? We've basically done everything. Um, I need to go in there. That's sort of the last, one of the last major areas of the game. Can't talk to that dude. There's not a ton of stuff we can do in here besides unlock this. There's a Jiggy over there that we can get, that I will get, uh, as well as a Cheeto page. I guess I'll get the Jiggy first. We need to climb over here because of the waiting boots. Uh, alternatively, you can just... Uh, Use Wonder Wing to get across this, pretty sure. Wonder Wing being your invincibility that, oddly enough, I just don't use. Could you, could you get out of the boots? Could you, could you get out of the boots? I'm... Can you not cancel that early? You know, like you can in Banjo-Kazooie. Because, you know, things making sense. Yeah, you just, you just can't cancel that early, as far as I can tell here. That is weird, and I did not know that. I used the... I used the shoes... the shoe item move thingies uh, a bit too rarely to notice in this game. They aren't used too particularly often. Uh, the running shoes are used a lot more often, and things like springy step shoes, and uh, the other one, the claw clamber boots, you don't, t they don't tend to matter so much that you can't cancel them, but the waiting boots in particular, the waiting boots in particular, so you can't get up these. However, I should note that it's you can't get up these normally, but if you do, like, pixel-perfect uh, jumps between them, it is possible to get up there. I will give it a few tries. You saw that I managed to do the one, but you have to do it five times in a row, and it's essentially pixel-perfect, and with the game running at, like, 60 frames per second, it's... Pretty tight timing, and it requires a ton of practice. It is a speedrunning strategy that uh, I just, just know. Just know. See, I did it there, but the thing is, I need to... Yeah, I, I just don't know the timings on the other ones. And then if you miss on the last one, it's like you lose a bunch of time, you take damage, it, it's, it's rather annoying. It can be rather annoying, so we're gonna do that later, as intended. It is intended that you return later to get that Chiggy. And it just so happens that you have to return anyway to do a thing over there, so, yeah. Time to head over here. Time to transform! 
There's a Globo here. Yeah, Big Heap, welcome. Welcome. Yeah, shut up. Shut up. This is Stony. This is Stony. He can attack, and he can talk to rock thingies, and that, and and and, and play uh, play soccer, kickball, essentially. Um, yeah, we'll do the prison compound thingy first. Die, even though you'll respawn. We need to talk to this dude over here. Hi. Star, sun, star, moon, moon. Star, sun, star, moon, moon. Uh, this code is different each time you play through the game. So star, sun, star, Moon. Moon. Now, I... If I'm remembering correctly, I don't think you can actually push those buttons as the stony. Which... What the fuck? I can't... What? Die! Oh my gosh! What the hell? It wouldn't. It's like I was inside of the dude's hitbox, and he would. It wouldn't like register that I was attacking and hitting the thing. That is some grade A bullshit. It is definitely some grade A bullshit. So the way the empty honeycombs work in this game is a bit different from a uh, Banjo Kazooie. Did you shut up? Basically, there are a certain number in each level, well, world, and, uh... Why did I even go here? I, I don't know why I took that teleport when I need to go all the way down there, but whatever. So there's this- there's a number of them. It's not always two, like in Banjo-Kazooie. Uh, this world, for instance, had three. They're scattered everywhere, yet you turn in an increasing number of them to increase your health meter. And you do that in a specific place that uh, we'll be getting to after this world, in fact. Hi. In an elaborate disguise, that we are. Welcome to the Kickball Stadium! I don't need no flippin' training. There's only one NPC in the training area that will actually give you useful information. The other ones will tell you to score a bunch of points, basically, and don't lose. Hey, look, thingies. Perhaps it'd be great if I can remember how to shoot the ball. That's the button. Trigger shoots. Could you, could you give me balls? Thank, thank, thanks for the balls, Sonny! 
Oh, come on. Boink. Boink. Get in. Get in the goal. So these guys are fairly slow in this in this round. It's pretty easy to win. You just need to have the most amount of points. That's the uh, that's the key to the amateur tournament. You need the least. You, you, you need the most amount of points to win. In the professional tournament, which we will get to much later, you need to have the least amount of points to win. So it essentially flips things on its head. This round introduces the concept of the red balls. Uh, I think these guys are slightly more aggressive. Oh, come on. Uh, I should be focusing on the yellows. I should focus on the yellows. Just kick the reds to some goal. I don't really care. I won. That's all that matters. Yeah, 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 the amateur finals. Let's do this. The finals introduce the final concept uh, of the bomb ball. Shoot the bomb, it stuns your opponents for a short period of time. So we have the yellows, we have the reds, and we have the bombs. Hey. I need a yellow, thank you. Or two yellows, three yellows close to me. Lol. I still... I lose! Because of a tie. Fuck me. Tie? Really? There are no ties, you just lose. I don't like that yellow just got two together. Well, that's nice. Really? Yellow? Yeah, you gotta do that to me? Red. Lol. No! Give. Give me all of the things. All of the things. Thank you for all of the things. Yay! That was much better. And for doing all three of those, we get a single Jiggy F you game. We get one whole Jiggy for our efforts. For now, we are done with Mayahem Temple. That that is that is earthing that we can do in here. The unfortunate thing is you have to transform back in order to actually leave the world. It's one of those odd things because in Banjo Kazooie you could just you could just leave and then you'll transform back just because. It's like you you'd just be able to transform back by attempting to leave a certain zone uh, away from a world. But in this game no, you can't even leave the world. You just get told off about trying to leave. You must transform back. 
So anyway, uh, that's my hen temple, and uh, I think I'm going to end off my recording session here. I don't know what this is about. I don't know what this is all about, but it's annoying. It's it's highly annoying. All I get is this if I push that button. Thank you. Thank you so very much. I don't know. I don't know why it's doing bullshit. Must be down, I guess. My internet's connected, so yeah. Anyway, I'm ending things off here. With that, I thank you all for watching. This has been LP Showboat 0099. I'll see you all next time where I guess bullshit will continue to commence. I don't know. I'll see you all then.